Welcome to today's floral launch party called Grow into a New Quilt Block. Today we're launching the newest Die to Try series die. Quilters, I'm Lynn Gibney, AccuQuilt's Chief Brand and Product Officer. I can't wait for you to see May's Die to Try. So let me quickly introduce you to your hosts for today, Pam and Erica. Hi, thank, thank you, you Miss Lynn. Lynn. All right, quilters, this new die is sure to keep your create help your creativity unfold. We've had a great time working oh, with Oh, we it. have. And we've got a great launch party for you today. As always, we've got a lot of fun. We're going to have some great prizes, fantastic project ideas, and a stunning trunk show. All right, ladies, I'm going to go get ready for our experts. We have Vicki Parrish and Anita Amador, who will be helping to show off this new die in a little bit. So have a wonderful show. Thank you. you. All right, I don't want to wait any no. longer. Let's take a look at our new die. With the Gold Lotus Block 10 inch finish die, you can add a sense of beauty and tranquility to any quilting project. Creating this delicate flower block is easier than ever with the AccuQuilt system. With just one pass through the Go or Go Big electric fabric cutter, you'll perfectly cut a five color 10 inch finish block in seconds. This elegant block and board or bob die features 14 shapes that include a quarter inch seam allowance, dog-eared corners, screen printed letters, and notches for easy piecing. Try it with different fabrics and colorways to get so many unique looks with just one die. Let your creativity bloom by pairing this die with other compatible bobs and go cube sets, or try it on point with 10 inch setting triangles. Make enticing table runners, comforting throw quilts, striking wall hangings, and more. You'll appreciate how effortless it is to create this stunning block because at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. Quilters, this is a classic block and like other ones we've seen before, yes. There are often variations and different names through the generations. Right. So here is the block. It's so gorgeous. So pretty. Look at this. Now these days you can find versions of the Lotus block made with foundation paper piecing to get those perfect points or often you'll find them pieced with Y seams. That's right. But our block on board or bob die not only has all the pieces on a single die board, it allows you to cut them accurately every single time. There's no Y seams. There's none of the hassle of foundation paper Nothing. piecing and you get perfect points. Look at that. Okay, I love it. let's grab the die, Pam. All right. Oh, here, I have the fabric. I feel like already. we wanna keep this out all day. I know. It's so pretty. It is so pretty. And it's so springy. It is. It is, and it's a beautiful sunny day here in Omaha today. All right, so Erica, let's talk about all of the pieces that are on this die board. So first of all, it's on a 10 by 24 die board, so it's only going to fit through our Go and our Go Big. Right. Okay, and you want to use a 10 by 24 mat. Absolutely, absolutely. Now we have some shapes, we have some half square triangles, and this chisel shape and this half square triangle, this is unique to this die. Yeah, so we've got pieces that don't exist other places, including some of these other, I think all of them but three pieces right. are unique um, to this die, which is fabulous. But we've also got squares and half square triangles, and so we know there's a, so much that you can do with, with a half square triangle, right? Right. And we want to talk about when you create this block, you're going to make mm -hmm. mirrored images. Right. So these shapes here, you want to make sure that you fan fold back and forth. Right. Right. And then these half square triangles, we're going to actually face our fabric facing up along with that chisel. Right. And then these, again, we're going to fan fold back and forth. That's so right. So it's really important to make a test block and it's really important to follow the fabric cutting instructions. Oh, absolutely. All right, now we've got specialized dog ears. It's gonna help you put it together, the notches again. So let's cut the chit chat and get something cut. Yep, yep. 
All right, so this is, uh, we're gonna have that fabric facing up. Okay. And then our chisel shape here, we're gonna fan fold. So we get a left okay, and a right. Okay, and a right, gotcha. Mm -hmm. The same here with our shape E. Um, I fan folded, we're gonna get a left and a right. And then F and G, you want it to have facing up. Okay, great. And then here, um, I am fan folding left and right. You can fan fold however yes. you want to do it, yes. right? Okay, let's give this a scooch. That's okay, you're talking, I'll scooch. You scooch while I talk. The and same. we were running a little shy on our pink fabric. A little fabric. shy, but we wanted to cut it in this beautiful fairy frost fabric. Right. Because it's beautiful. Okay, and then actually I'm gonna leave this here, okay. So you would follow the pattern instructions for sure yes. on these pinks and the greens you want a yes. left and a right. That's okay? right. And we have a 10 by 24 cutting mat. That's right. And then we're gonna show you how to lay it out because yes. truly you wanna lay it out before you sew. Right, so it goes together a little bit differently than your standard four patch. Right. I'm just loving the bright colors of this. I do But too. in a couple of weeks, um, on a Wednesday show, we're gonna cut it in a completely different colorway. Well, and see, that I'm is really so the fun and part of the versatility of it that you can do so much with it. And wait till you see some of the samples and things coming up. Okay, we're gonna slide that mat to lift. Look at us getting All some right. pieces. Okay, and Erica, I think like you, I left the pieces on the die board. Right, I'm so trying that I to knew. do that so that we can know where they are. And I did that when I made my first couple blocks too because I just wanted to keep track of everything. Right, there we go. Okay, perfect. I'm still pulling. Yeah, you're good, you're I'm good. just trying to be gentle. <laughs> Gently pull, do you well, have I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to dis disturb the fabric, but there, there we, we go. go. Okay, perfect, all right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow the pattern mm -hmm. and we're gonna lay out some of these blocks. So right. um, notice, this is one of my favorite pieces. It's flat on the bottom. Yes. And because you're gonna turn this block at, a, at an angle, these are gonna be flat. And then on these two, you're gonna add a half square right. triangle. Right. So it's a little bit different than we normally do. So for this one, then we would take our half square triangles. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I wanna show you this cause this is so cool. <laughs> I just really, really like this die. Okay, now you wanna make sure that you're putting them on the right yes. direction. And that's where those dog ears come into right. play. Because when you put that on here, Pam's showing us, when you line it up right, it's gonna fit together perfectly. And that's how you know you've got it right. Right. Typically we sew half square triangles together on the long end, mm -hmm. but for this project, we're gonna sew them on the end of our pieces, okay? Yes. So now then we would have this piece here and then we're gonna come down and bring our blocks, okay? Now again, because Pam, like you'll see, we've got then half square triangles that we're putting on here. And remember, we've got seam allowance, so don't worry, don't panic. It's all gonna work out in the end, we promise. Yes, and then the same thing for the bottom, and this is kind of a cool thing because you wanna follow the pattern because it's gonna have you sew them together here and then add a longer piece yes. here. It mm -hmm. just, you just want to make sure you sew it correctly. Right. So for this one here, we're going to have it line up right here. And this is the bottom one. And this is the top. So it's all going to come together perfectly. Yes. And you would add this little square here to the side. Yep. And build to rows. Right. So it's just all about building rows. That's right. Now, the block does go together, like we said, a little differently, but we have great, great directions. The block assembly directions, you can find them as a free download. They're on the dies product page, which includes that coloring page that everybody loves to help you plan out your blocks. Right, and I'm just gonna show you this last half square triangle because you're gonna wanna put it here. Right. Okay. This is how you're gonna create this side. Mm -hmm. And then we would put one here. To finish it off. To finish it off. Oh, just love it. 
All right, it is truly a great uh, chain piecing block and you know how much we love these. Now I'm gonna give you a little tip that we pressed our seams open. Yes. Yes. And the reason we did is so that you don't get a lot Almost of bulk. every single one. The one that we didn't was right, right there, there. But everything all else. the others were pressed open. Mm -hmm. And also on that product page, we have a video that the lovely Pam here and I made mm -hmm. showing you how to put that block together. Yes. So along the line of pressing. Yes. Here's your next pro tip on this block. Okay. Hold on here. I'll pull them out. Okay. So you will be really happy if you have handy a wool pressing mat and a, a small iron and one of our brand new clappers, which I'm so in love with. These are great. These are so great. Mm -hmm. And they will help you make sure that those seams are super, super flat. Mm -hmm. And I love them. They've got our logo on them. We've got two sizes in the clappers, the 18 and the 12 inch. And no, the eight inch and the, the twelve eight inch. inch and the twelve inch. There we go. Why did I say eight? I don't know because you're happy. I don't know. I am happy. But we've got all these things available for you now on our website. Yep. So check them out. And we never ever press with steam. So when right. we press, we're going to put that clapper down, and it's going to lay flat. That's right. Okay. All right. Now that we've taken a good look at this tie, I want to see what Lotus Block Inspiration oh. our two experts have dreamed up. Absolutely. Hardly wait. All right. So working with the Go Lotus Block and other Bob dies is Vicki Parrish. Now Vicki's a quilter whose passion for quilting began many years ago when she was but eight years old and her grandfather taught her to make her first quarter inch seams. She has taught quilting to high school students for the past several years and always turns to the AccuQuilt Go Fabric system when she's helping beginner quilters gain confidence and see success. I wish I would have started with the Go Fabric Cutter. Oh, absolutely. I spent, you know, I would have 15, been way more successful. 15 years without it. So. It's those accurate cuts, yes. right? Yes, yes. And working with the cubes and the Go Lotus block is Anita Amador. Now, Anita's a professional quilter, educator, designer, AccuQuilt expert, and she's an aspiring writer. A self-proclaimed cubaholic, she enjoys using the Go Quilt system, AccuQuilt system, block on board dies, and upsizing and downsizing cubes in her design. She's so brilliant. She is. Anita feels most at home with a room full of quilters sharing her knowledge of the AccuQuilt fabric cutting system, just like Vicki, yep. and the tips and techniques that can bring a modern way of cutting into the world of quilting. Anita is a retired Navy chief, thank you for your service, and lives in Southern Kentucky with her husband, a retired Air Force Master Sergeant. Thank you for your service. And they're two Siamese cats. All right. Uh, they are both brilliant. You know, so clever. How often do, quilters are so generous. Yes. You know, they're happiest when they're sharing mm -hmm. their knowledge. Yep. Well, I want to see what both of them have dreamed up so far. So, Vicki, what do you have? Hi, ladies. I'm super excited to be with you here today. The last time I was with you, many of you saw a theme going on with my projects with the llama. Yes, we were expecting a grandson. However, he did arrive six weeks early. He's home now and doing well. I'm really excited also to be here with the Go Lotus block today because here in Minnesota, we are waiting for those, those uh, May flowers. The first thing I did when I got this die was to make a test block. And as you can see, it's not that pretty. But then when I went ahead and made the second one, I got it right. It's so important to make those test blocks. And I bet you're wondering why I have all of these test blocks out. Well, for me, sometimes I like the visual play with using the different sizes with the other test block that I made of the new die. That way I can get an idea of what I'm going to go for. My challenge today was to pair the Lotus block with another Bob. So I have lots of different choices here, as you can see. Behind me, the Wacky Weather, Go Wacky Weather, which was made with the Weather Vane block. Now this is an eight inch block. So I would have to add some sashing to make it the right size to go with my Go Lotus block. Of course, I could put it with a block that was larger as well. And as you can see, I would have to then add sashing to my Go Lotus block. But either way, I have lots of options. Let me just put those aside for a minute. When I looked at this block, I thought, wow, this would be a great block to set on point. So I added some setting triangles here, and as you can see, this would make a great placemat. It'd be, bring a whole lot of spring to your table. The next thing I did um, was 
I went ahead and used EQ8 and I came up with a couple of designs. Now, of course, the first one here is not paired with a bob, but as you can see, it's quite fun. And I think I may make this table runner at some point. Next, I decided to pair it with a 10 inch block, our cornucopia. And I continued to set it on point. Look how pretty that is. I think that would make a great wall hanging or even a tablecloth for your table. Then I thought, what else can I put this block with? And so I thought, what about the butterfly? And also, along with the butterfly, the Go Big Crazy quilt die. This makes a lot of fun, um, and it looks like those butterflies are kind of in a park. I also thought of adding it to the Go Rising Star. And by putting that rising star right in the center, you kind of get a cross feeling with this. I think this is, would be another great wall hanging. Another one that I decided to pair it with and try it out on my EQ8 with was the Go Pineapple die. And as you can see, this is a completely different look than the others that I showed you. Well, I have a lot of ideas. And so I'm gonna go away and see what I can pair with the Go Lotus block what uh, what bobs I can pair with it to come up with a great new design for you. I'll see you soon. Oh, okay, she's so clever. So many great mm -hmm. ideas. Love the crazy quilt block with it yes. and the pieced butterflies. That was super fun. And Cornucopia, which is, um, you can go to our website and vote to bring it back. That's right. Actually, one it of my retired. favorite. It retired, it retired, but it is stunning with this. So it is fabulous. If you want one and you didn't get it, go go place a vote, because we do pay attention to those things. All right, I just love what Vicki came up with, but before we touch on more of her ideas, hey, let's give away a Go Lotus Block 10 inch finished die to a lucky viewer who registered for today's show. That's right. All right, quilters, our first lucky winner of a Go Lotus Block 10 inch finished die is, drum roll please. It's Rory M. from Denver, North Carolina. Congratulations. <laughs> about threw myself off there. Just, oh my gosh. Okay, so um, before we talk about what Vicki was working on, so many yes. people have asked. This is Michael Miller Fairy Frost. Yes, so this is and Michael Miller fabric. And it's, you're seeing it's got, this shimmers. has like a sheen to it. Yes. Um, and then the pink you can see is very yes. glittery. Yes. Um, it's beautiful fabric, it. but and that's Michael, our friends at Michael Miller. And for those of you who were concerned about my Band-Aid, I have changed my Band-Aid. Um, I used a rotary cutter this morning and cut my and finger. she cut herself. Erica put a Band-Aid on it. Okay, so so the, 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 the danger is real, people. Yes. The danger with those rotary cutters is real. Okay. All right, let's talk about 10 inch finished yes. block on board dies that would work with this die, and here are some of our favorites. All right, so the very first one I thought of personally was the Go Tangled Star. I feel like this could make a super modern quilt with that classic lotus block, don't you? Look okay. how fun that is. First of all, first I pulled out this one. Which, which I love. So I love this, and then if we change this to the pink and the white, and made this black and uh -huh. this plaid, uh -huh. I would totally buy that. And then, but look at I the, I mean, that. they're both fun. And this pulls then, the green is pulled into the design. Mm -hmm. So what if it was the pinks and the green? You can do that. And yeah. then look how cool it looks on block, on point. I love it. I This is one of my all time favorite dyes on point. Me too. I mean, it's just so cool. Okay. But we've got more. We have, don't, don't fret. <laughs> Don't fret, we've been to the, we've been to the box and pulled That's out right. our sample box. Okay, so this is pickle dish. And to look at it, you go, oh, I would not usually think about right. putting these together. But again, this real stark modern look, mm -hmm. you could totally make it mm -hmm. in these colors. Yes. With a little fairy frost in there. Yes. Now, Eric and I had a con conversation. We didn't think we liked it so much on point. I, I like it very, I like it flat mm -hmm. on its side much better. Yeah. But Ooh, here, try I love how it, what are you doing? Well, before I put it on point Oh, like okay, this. so if you put it the other way. Well, then it's a little bit different. That, it, and it, isn't still. that interesting? It's a totally different look, but I still like it better side by side like this. Okay. But it's fun to have the, the, the curves matched up with the points, I think. Right, the start points. And then I like pickle dish because it has those points. Okay. So, well, yep. And All then right. there's another curvy one you thought of. 
This is so pretty. So this is our Alabama Beauty. And the thing that I love most about this is that there are curves in this flower mm -hmm. and straight lines, mm -hmm. curves and straight lines. So I would alternate them. Yeah. But I would, again, do them in the same colorway. Yes. Well, yes. We, we kind of went to the went to the well and we went to the dark side here and found some <laughs> and found some some but yeah no these are just our sample box that we made but I think that that of all of the pairs yes, this is my that's favorite. your favorite mm -hmm. well we've got another curved one we that did. I thought would be make a real statement and that's the go courtyard die right. so look at this and there we'll put its little center on it. I go. think there's a lot of real possibility here because you've got these points that are going to speak to these mm -hmm. points over here. I think right. you're going to have, and again, these are classic, classic blocks, but they look really fresh when you change up their fabrics, don't they? Right. And this one has some Y seams. Don't be stressed. Oh, no. They're really easy, gentle Y seams. Yeah. And I kind of like these two together. I do too. I do All too. Right. I see possibilities there. All right. So many options, aren't there? And I really want to see what Anita's up to. But there are two more finished. <laughs> but um, wait, there's more. Right? Um, uh, ten We've inch had finished. A couple box. others, yeah. Okay. Hands down, Lucky Star, one of my top five. Isn't this fun? Isn't this a fun see? look with it? Yeah. I just think it looks so fun together. Yeah. And Lucky Star is such a great, versatile bob die. Well, and there's so much movement in mm -hmm. this block. And right. I love it. Right. And then, let's turn them on. Oh, that's, oh, ooh. See, don't you like oh, that a lot? Yeah. Oh, I like yeah. this a lot. Okay. We're going to talk about setting box on point in a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a pink one there. Okay. Now, this is mosaic number four. Mm -hmm. This is one of our newer bob dies and yes. it's super cool and it gives you depending on how you do your color weight that's another thing with both of these mm -hmm. color and how you place your color is going to make all the difference and you're going to get some really cool effects with this don't mind me as i just sit and try i to know we're it. just gonna but okay and i love that she mentioned that vicky mentioned the pineapple dye because i hadn't thought about that but it's a natural look at that look at how cool that is and pineapple really, truly is such a great easy block to put together. Yeah. I would put them on point. I think so. I would put them on point because then so. you get those same stark edges right. with the half square triangles. I just ah, see a okay. lot of possibility here. Make that work. Somebody put those two together. Yeah. All right. Now that we've talked about bobs, yes. let's see how the lotus block compare with cubes. Oh, Anita, what do you have for us? Hi, ladies. I'm so happy to be joining y'all on the launch party for the lotus block. Not only does it finish to a wonderful 10 inch block, but this board has so many shapes on it. And I can't wait to show y'all my inspiration from it. So I'm gonna get my board out and get ready. Now, while I was doing my test block, y'all know me, I love these cubes. So the one thing I found out was the border around your lotus block leaves an opening here perfect for a cube shape. So what I did was I went and got my six inch cube, put a two and a half inch border around it, and look at the beautiful shape. I just created a new block with the lotus bob. How cute is that? Just by adding a border to your six inch block here. Now, with that in mind, think of all the different blocks you can make out of this using your cube. This was from my 12 inch cube. You could have a pieced six inch in here. You could use your four inch cube. It's just unlimited potential there. Now here's one I finished up using that same concept. And as you see, I added the border to my six inch block here. And then I used the lotus block to finish out my 10 inch square. But that's not all. 
you ladies are going to find out that if you're going on a retreat, this is the bob you want to take with you because I like to refer to it as the sample bob. That's right, because look at all of these blocks you can make with just this bob. You get a friendship star. You can make this beautiful star pattern with it. And then you can make what I'm calling Christmas crackers. How cute is that? Now, if you put all these blocks together, because you know it's almost time to start on those Christmas projects, you get this wonderful Christmas crackers quilt. Look how cute. You got your friendship blocks in there, your star, and the Christmas crackers in the middle. Not only that, but I went ahead and worked with some of the um, shapes on the bob and came up with this. This is a four inch square block. So those who like working with the smaller pieces. Now it doesn't look like too much here, but look what happens when you put it together. You can have this configuration and that stunning. That's all with that four inch square or a four inch block. Or you can have this configuration. So the possibilities are endless. I can't wait to show y'all my challenge piece, so check back in just a few minutes. Okay, I love her Christmas cracker quilt. Okay, and I love how the three of them together yes. make a quilt. Yes, and so easy, all from the same bob. You yes. know, we talk about the value of a bob die and right. the fact that it not only does it just make this block, but so many other pieces right. together to make right. new blocks. Right, she and did a great job she did a of great showing job. us that. All right, well, as blown away as I am by your ideas, and we want to talk about some of those, I think another lucky winner of a Go Lotus block would love to find out that they've got a die coming their way to create some of these ideas for themselves. All right, let's send one away. All right, Quilters, our second lucky winner of a Go Lotus block 10 inch finished die is, drum roll please. Carol B of Fairbury, Nebraska. Oh. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, Fairbury, France, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. This the is an thing, important thing here in the state we know of here in Nebraska. All right, Anita had some great ideas. And even though you and I are not great mathematicians other than quilt math, it's easy to see that the five and 10 inch mix and match cubes and companion sets are gonna be great fits with right. this 10 inch finish lotus block. Now she was using different dies, but look at this, look how fun this is. Now this is just a random mix and match block I bet the Gibney made one of these. I bet she did. 216 blocks. Look at how fun this is. Only smaller. Only smaller with the yes. four inch, yeah. So you could do that, or here's another 10 inch block, which right. I think looks great. That's really fun. All right, so let's talk about five inch blocks, shall okay. we? Well, because cubes are really the building blocks to the system, right? That's Pam? right. Each mix and match cube has eight different shapes that will work together to make over 72 of that cube sizes finished blocks. We have seven sizes of cubes, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, and twelve. We also have the cube companion sets, and she touched on those. We've got angles and corners, they work alongside the mix and match cubes, each with four more shapes, and each adding 72 more blocks that you can make. You'll find lots more information on our cubes in videos on our website, our Facebook page, and our YouTube channel. Yep. All right, so shall we just show a basic four yeah. patch? All right, so the cube system is based on a four patch. Right. Okay, so uh, f two and two, or five and five is 10, five and five is 10, okay? We've got that math on the line. Right, we can. So um, don't forget all of our cubes and our, our geometric shapes on our bob dies come with that quarter inch seam allowance. Mm -hmm. Now what happens, Erica, if we take those and we swap them out for some blocks made with our five inch cube. Look how fun that is. And yes. it totally changes things up. I kind of like it this way. Oh yeah, I It do. totally changes up the look. But she did some magic there she did. with taking this section of the block and changing that out, right? Right, because we're just scratching the surface of how you can get creative with right. your cubes and matching them with your block and board. So do you want to talk about that, Erica? Yes, so here, she took and put a six inch, right? Right. A six inch block here. And then she oh, would here. need um, 
like a one and a half inch, I think we measured one we and did. a half inch strip. Look how fun that is and what a different look. It's gonna make like a pinwheel flower, right? right? Look at that, isn't how that fun? How fun is that? And she had, she um, set a six inch and a two and a half and right. we, we, we wanna correct that. Right, but what if you take a five inch and that two and a half? So let's try a look at that. Should we try that one? Sure. See, you've okay. got even more of that floating look. Right, and you would have it here. And and a frame to it. Yes, and so think about all these five inch blocks that you could make. Oh yeah, that one's fun. Yeah. Oh, try the flower basket. It, oh, here, let's do that. Because that's really oh, gonna it's pull very out. very much like the it's, bottom of it. Yes. So you can make a flower basket within a flower basket. All right, well, in my mind, just like you see right here, the, lotus, the best partner for our lotus block is going to be our go setting triangle so that right. you can set these blocks on point. And happily, we have our go 10 inch finish setting That's triangles enough. die right here. And we've happened to have cut a few triangles for you. Okay, so first of all, you wanna make sure you're cutting on the lengthwise grain of these. Yes. Um, so they're nice and tight. Here's the sides and here's the corners. So we just have two blocks here. So Eric and I will show you how you would put yes. these in here. Here, I'll let you put a corner so, over there. Right, we have corners and the side triangles. Right. Pieces. And look how simple that is. They're just gonna fit right on there, so right on, you're gonna be done in a snap. So it's gonna allow you to turn any block on point because mm -hmm. we have four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, and 12 inch setting right. triangles. And back before we had uh, setting triangles, you had to do wicked math that neither one of us could do. Right. So we did a terrible thing where we would just cut a square, sew it on, and then just and lop just it off. Just lop it off, but that put our, our weak bias on the outside mm -hmm. of our projects, which is never a good idea because you don't want to you don't want to risk going wonky. Right. So by using the die, by laying the lengthwise grain down, you're going to get that stable lengthwise grain on the outside of your whole project. So you don't right. feel like you have to border it. Right. You could just put a binding on and be done, but yeah. it's not gonna stretch on you. Right, and there's no complicated math, and there's right. no trimming, and you're gonna get accurate cuts every time. So today, if you're getting that 10 inch lotus block, which we think is such a great value, um, if you don't have the 10 inch setting triangles, throw them in your cart. As a matter of fact, there's a bundle, a special launch bundle oh. that includes those setting triangles. That Sometimes setting triangle our team dot. is super smart. That. All right. Yeah. I want to check back and see what our experts have come up with for their final projects, all right? All right, let's see what they got. I feel like we could talk about the possibilities with this die all day, but yes. I do want to see our experts' final projects. All right, Vicki, what do you have? Ta-da! This is Go Red, White, and Lotus. As you remember, my challenge was to pair our new die, Go Lotus Block, with our bobs. Today, I d decided to use two different bobs. I also decided that color was a really important tool for this design. To begin with, here is our Go Lotus block, and there are four of them. Instead of flipping them the normal way, you can see that I flipped them inward, which created this arrow. In the corners, you can see Go Rising Star. Now, can anybody guess what this block is? That is the Go Chimney Sweep. And by using different colors, I was able to create a great zigzag pattern to go around the quilt. I wanted to show you this quilt in a couple of different colorways because it really does make a huge difference. And I want to encourage you all to go to Cold Quilt and check out the pattern so that you can color your own. This is the quilt done in blue, yellow, and white. And here, what about in black and white? This is a huge difference in the way that the quilt turns out. I hope you enjoy Go Red, White, and Lotus. Okay, that is stunning. And I was right, I guess Chimney Sweep. Yes. And what a great idea to take that because you could truly make it Red, White, and Lotus. Right. Or you could make it for spring or for summer or for fall. She showed the black and white and Pam about <coughs> swooped. No. Lost my quilting mind. She did. I just think it's such a modern look. It is, it and is. And depending on the color way, you can really accentuate that modern look or you can tone it down. I just think it's fabulous. Great call out to Go Quilt. Go too. Quilt. 
Check it out on our website, it's free. That's right. All right, Anita, what have you made for us? Welcome back, ladies. I am so excited to reveal my project with the Lotus Block. Now, my project consists of three blocks, one made with the Lotus Block, and two made with that inset of the 12-inch cube, 6-inch piece with sashing and the outer border of the Lotus Block. So let's take a look. Here is Lotus Crocs. Here's the first block I was talking about. It is the large half square triangle and the small half square triangle from your 12 inch cube mix and match. And the border that goes around it to form that block. Your second block is your signature die, shape 10 from the mix and match corners and shape number five from your 12 inch cube mix and match along with the border around it and then finished off with that lotus block. And then shape number three is your lotus block, put together in this manner to form the cross in the middle. I hope y'all enjoy it. Until next time. Oh, that I, was I a stunner, yeah. So clever, and the colorway is beautiful. Yeah, she did really mm -hmm. interesting things. It's really interesting how she, she worked with the basic shapes mm -hmm. to create something that looks so totally Those different. Those half square triangles. Yeah. And the colorway was so different than Vicky's. I, right. I, I got nothing. I don't know how you quilters are going to pick, either. but we want to know. That's All right. right, so quilters, we want to know which expert project is your favorite. Is it Vicky's Go Red, White, and Lotus, or Anita's Go Lotus Cross, or can you just not decide and they both should win? Yeah. All right. Well, I, I, there's no way. I don't, I don't know the which I. Yeah. I'm going <laughs> to say both right now. Yeah, All right. Go. If you're watching on AccuQuilt's website or on YouTube, you can click on the vote box below or to the right of the chat box. And if you're watching by Facebook, vote from the box that displays over our video. That's right. Now, while you're voting and thinking, we want to get into today's trunk show for even more inspiration. Lynn, can you give us a hand? Absolutely. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty this one is. Okay, this is the Go Sweet Lotus Flowers Throw Quilt. It's by Heidi Pridemore of the Whimsical Workshop. Okay, Heidi once again just hit it out of the ballpark with this. Yes, she did. Because she used great batiks, right? But not necessarily batiks that I've used a lot. Like the orange and the yellows and the blues together. Yeah. I just think it's beautiful. That blue sets off. Well, mm -hmm. it's the opposite. It's our color, it's our yes. color theory, right, Lynn? Definitely. It's why it calls to us. We've got our opposite colors here. Yeah. And then the stems, which are great. And then this is our signature block with That's those little so half square cute. triangles. I, I love the batik look in it. Mm -hmm. It looks very uh, watery, you know, like in the water element and fresh. What do you think, Lynn? Well, I, I, I like the, how she's made it into a pictorial quilt uh -huh. using the blocks. And um, we don't see that always, but this yeah. is a perfect block for that. Right. It really so, is. She's quilted it there. with the blue that matches here, but mm -hmm. it gives you that great mm -hmm. contrast on the outer borders. And fun fact, some of this fabric is in my log cabin quilt. Oh, well, there you <laughs> so, go. I think that's why I like it so much. What does the back look like, Miss Lee? Yeah, I do, you know, we weren't talking about this before, but it does have a sleeve, which oh, is very oh, which nice. Oh, which is really nice. That is very nice. And look at this pretty, pretty blue. That is batik. a pretty batik, too. Yeah. Gosh, Heidi did a great job. So this is a great one. Uh, it's definitely a contender for taking with me. Yes. <laughs> Okay, the next He's always one. thinking that one. <laughs> the next one is the Go Lotus Blooms Wall Hanging. It's by Gina Jempasov, Gem Hill Quilts. And this has got that Michael Miller fabric. These yes. are the box that we were looking at yes. earlier. And this is on the packaging, right? The, when we created the video, this is the project we made. Now, one of the things that I really love about Gina is that she always has a tendency to take blocks and break them up. Mm -hmm. You know, and so there's sashing in between, and I just think that that's so, it gives it such a different look. You only need four of the blocks, so you could totally make it a weekend project. Well, and it makes it, by putting this little cornerstone in here, I didn't realize it before, it, it looks like a, a shoe fly block. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right yes. there in the middle. That is so yeah. fun. Yeah, it's really just, it's, it's. It is very interesting what this does. It's right. Just by putting these sweet. four blocks together right. this way. And then thin little sashing and a uh, border, which is beautiful. Yeah. And what does the back look like? So Lynn? the back has, I'll try to not show the there. tag, but this has really nice, pretty, pretty, oh, pretty floral. floral. 
but very okay. swirly in contrast mm -hmm. to the, yeah. the sharp edges. And mostly I was loving the fabric. Yeah, it's it's a happy quilt. It a is happy a happy wall quilt. We like yes. this. We, we like, like that. that. Yes. All right, the next one up is the Go Lotus Garden Throw Quilt. It's by Mitzi Red of Red Homestead. Okay, now Mitzi totally went a little different because look, our lotus blocks are all the same color. Mm -hmm. Whereas in the other ones, they're different colors. Right. And I actually love this version the best. Yep. In a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. when we make some lotus blocks, um, I'm gonna kind of follow that little trend. Well, and it makes me think of a reflecting pool at night. Oh yes, because of the water. And look, the water. Pass. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And her quilting. Okay, we have to. We have to look. We'll turn it around so you can see it mm -hmm. better. But this looks like yes. a lotus. Lotus petals. Yes. On the lotus petals. I love that. Yeah, and again, I love that both Gina and uh, Mitzi have these sash scenes between them. I think Heidi did as well. So, you know, a skinny border and a wider border. I just think it's beautiful. It is interesting how the use of all the borders, you know, mm -hmm. we're seeing that again. So. Well, we have 18 different sizes That's of strip dyes, so pick it's you, pick easy you. Easy to add a border. But yeah. for a while, people weren't adding a lot of borders mm -hmm. to yeah, quilts, and borders not. are definitely making a comeback, I agree. Yeah. All right, can we see the yes, back? Yes, let's look at the pretty quilting in oh, the white yeah. thread. Oh, yeah, so you can see, Greg, can we get a really good shot of that? Thank you. This is just that beautiful quilting on the back. And then she just did stitch in the ditch up here in the corner. So pretty. And little pretty um, swirls on the side. Ah, I and love the it. fabric has a little sparkle to it, too. And I'm all about the sparkle fabric. Sparkle fabric's very big. Okay, this I last one is, some. is long, so I've got it folded. Oh, it might fit oh. on your table at home yes. then? This is so. the Go Floating Lotus Blossom Table Runner. It's by Marianne Fontana of Fontana Originals. She's used Hoffman fabrics, and wow, that is a big, that is a stunningly big table right. runner too. Mm -hmm. And it does, it gives that illusion that they're floating, They've turned. she's turned them on point, she's used some grunge, so for the win. But this is interesting because Marianne used the side setting triangles here, and then the corners on the edge, which we don't Finish usually- Finish it off, to right, square it off, yeah. Right. Yeah, which I think is great. And because she didn't want to use- and She wanted to extend it. Yeah, she wanted yeah. to extend, that's the word I was looking yes. for. Right, and as you pointed out earlier in the show, the way that both of these setting triangles are that edge is not on the bias, right. which right. is nice. So this this is easy to, to bring together and not a challenge. Yeah. This is so modern. Very Such much Such a so. modern look and with And do you that. love those colors? I do love yes. those colors. Those yeah. teals, you know how I feel yeah, about teal stunning. these days. Yeah, and it's Hoffman fabric, so it's it has um, texture to mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. fabric, right? All right, yes, all, all right. of these patterns are available as free downloads on the AccuQuilt website. Be sure to download your patterns before your die arrives so you'll be ready to go. I hate to ask, but Lynn, what quilt are you taking? I think you're gonna take the table top. Yeah, oh, no, oh. I'm taking, I'm, I need I need the happy quilt. You I'm need taking, the happy quilt. She's taking the, the happy spring. quilt. The happy, so. Okay. All, all right. right, well, I'm gonna take this with me and okay. enjoy the rest of the show. All right, thank all you. All right. I just, I thought for sure she'd take the table. I runner. did too, I did too. All right, now you saw this fabric, this gorgeous fabric, it's like a tone on tone print here on these, um, during the trunk show on that last table runner mm -hmm. project, and here it is. Hoffman right has provided two of these sections of fabric for you, and I just think they're so pretty. I just love the gray tone on tone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of that yes. today. And it's it's more of a, a, a taupey, taupey gray. Taupey gray. Yeah. We should not be allowed to name fabrics. We should. Right. <laughs> the colors. The winner of the first selection of fabric is, drum roll please. <laughs> Cheryl H. of Augusta, Georgia, congratulations. congratulations. All right, the winner of the second selection of this yummy fabric is, drum roll please. It's Susan L. from Harbor Beach, Michigan. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hey, a huge shout out to Hoffman Fabrics for sponsoring today's show. Our quilters are gonna love make their lotus block projects with this fabric. Oh, I just, so pretty. So pretty. So pretty. All right, don't forget if you're a winner, I'm, re you, I'm gonna send you an email, and get your address, That's we'll right. ship it out to you. That's right. They trust me with the fabric. <laughs> Silly people at AccuQuilt. Well, it was a, <laughs> it was a stretch, but. 
It, it was. was either you or me, and yeah. I don't know, neither <laughs> one of us were very trustworthy with fabric. All right, quilters, the time has come. We've asked which expert project is your favorite, and it's time to announce that winner. Okay, our team has counted all your votes, and the winner is huge drum roll, please. <laughs> okay, truly, truly, there was no other option. They were so different, mm -hmm. and they were both such stunners. Yeah, yeah, no, there was no other option. Yeah, yeah. That was good. Absolutely. Well, quilters, we have tons of great deals available for you on our website, like how you can use the code MAYSHIP to earn free ground shipping on any online order if you live in the contiguous U.S. Plus, you'll earn double AccuQuote reward points on your order. No code needed. To get your order in now, open a new tab in your browser, type in AccuQuote.com slash party to go to the site, see the offers, and place your order. And don't forget to look at some of those great 10-inch bob dies. Yes. If you're missing some of those 10-inch bob dies like Pineapple and Lucky Star, Yes. Um, Tangled Star. And those, make sure you have the setting triangles. Oh, yes. And don't forget, our Die to Try dies are also available at your local AccuQuilt retailer. And they're only available to the end of the month or till or we sell Or while out. supplies last. And I can see this one selling out oh, in a flash, man. can't you? I can. It is fabulous. All right, it is time for us to get ready for our next event. We hope that today's show was just what you needed to inspire you to grow your quilting skills with a new quilt block. See you next time. Thanks for watching our show. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel and look for live events every Tuesday and Wednesday. You can visit the events page on AccuQuilt's website for more details on upcoming shows. And while you're there, check out the blog for tips, tricks, tutorials, and inspiration galore. And remember at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. Enter your email to sign up for notifications for upcoming events. Once you've signed up, you'll receive an event reminder email before each show. Signing up means that you're entered to win a door prize that we'll give away during the show, so you'll want to tune in and see if you won. Be sure to join me every Wednesday at 12 noon Central Time for AccuQuilt Live. We have so much fun. Tomorrow, Eric and me are having a show and tell for everyone's Go Scrappy Star Log Cabin Quilts. And tune in every Tuesday at 12 noon Central Time for more launch parties and trunk shows. These events are filled with tips, tricks, and tons of inspiration. Next time, we'll be having a special event to share footage from Paducah's Quilt Show. We can't wait to see you there.